With the release of the second beta, Krita 5.1 is in the final straight. So let's get hyped a little bit and check what's coming to Krita in the next week or two. I'd say that the main theme of this whole update is feeling. So if you use Krita as a comic artist or just work a lot with line arts and flat colors, this could be your lucky day. And I'm really talking about some digital wizardry going on here, okay? But let's keep some order and start from the beginning. The fill tool got a continuous mode in which you can press and drag across the artwork, filling everything on your way. In the tool options you can make it either fill every zone on your way, or only zones of one specific color. Speaking of which, the tool now comes with much clearer options with more icons, less technical names with little meaning, contextual organizing of features, and in general more possibilities on smaller space. Usage example I came up with would be to reference a lineout layer using a color label and pick fill only similar regions to prevent present drag mode from coloring the line art itself. Of course, it also works pretty well with the good old split layer option, which divides each detected color into a separate layer. But I'm sure you all read the Krita manual and already know about it. Huh? If all of that is not enough for you, the newly added enclose and fill tool could make some filling scenarios even easier. While the name may sound enigmatic, the usage is simple. You select multiple regions with the selection tool and Krita fills them. The feature can be known by Clip Studio Paint users, will convert you someday, someday, someday mm. will convert you. but Photoshop doesn't seem to have it yet. And that's always a nice touch. It can be used with a lasso tool and by painting the selection with a brush. Make sure you select the whole region, as the whole point of this tool is only to fill zones surrounded by the counter. Before you ask, there was no work on gap filling here, so you still need to use Colorize Mask if you don't want to close the gaps yourself on a helper layer. Good, we finally covered the topic of filling, so let's move on to all the other improvements. Removed a long time ago due to technical problems, HSV sliders finally made their way back to the specific color selector docker. You can find them among all the other color spaces like LAB or grayscale. Now they are also in the HSV adjustment filter where they replaced those more generic sliders. The brushes in the eraser mode now can use different display settings, helping to differentiate between the modes. You can pick one of many available cursors, outlines, or even change its color. Please note that by default the feature is turned off. My request regarding precise mode in Krita sliders was implemented. Now, apart from clicking on a specific part of the slider, you can press Shift to make small changes regardless of the place you clicked on. You know, the precision mode was already present, but it still would switch to the place you clicked on. In my opinion, making it way less usable. There are new operations possible on multiple selected layers. Pressing delete will remove the selected area on each individual layer, while copying and pasting will preserve the original layer structure with things like blending modes and layer opacity. The thing works both for a group and multiple layers being selected. Transforming selected layers at once is still not possible without grouping them. Staying in the layer stack, you can notice small tweaks like allowing to change the indentation value and the button for showing layer properties. It may come in handy when your pen cannot emulate the right mouse button. The last relic of the design from the past century, vertical separators between icons, are gone for good. Moving on into some more miscellaneous features, the pivot in the transform tool can be placed outside of the transform area. You can still restrict it by pressing Alt though. The Grow, which allows you to make the canvas larger with the Crop tool, is the new default. Apart from that, the brush tips with embedded lightness shifts now clearly show their transparency in the brush editor. Gesture shortcuts on Android devices can be configured in the canvas input settings. There's a new painting assistant for drawing ellipses in perspective. And that's it for the upcoming new version. You can check out this beta or wait a little bit longer for the official release. In both cases, nothing wrong should happen to your settings or custom brushes. Not all the heroes were capes. So at this point, let's all say a big thank you to the whole team of developers, both paid and volunteering. Special thanks also go to all the Krita backers, both from the development fund and those who bought Krita on one of the application stores. You're all making this release possible. See you next time and have a lot of fun with this new release. Cheers!